Okay, so here we are for qualifying. It's episode three of this career mode series with Nick Hamilton. Practice was all right. Not massively impressive lap times, but we learned a lot of a lot of stuff, a lot of, collected a lot of data. So, uh, yeah, we'll be looking to make it into at least the second part of qualifying. Maybe even try and challenge the challenge the top ten. Give, it, give them a run for their money and try and get into that third part qualifying but it'll be a big push so um yeah do we still have our setup on? we do I'll run through that quickly not an optimal setup like you'd expect to see from uh, sort of other people this is just a sort of a more realistic setup so to speak not the outright fastest of what the game will probably allow so that could be a reason for the lap times not being where you'd expect. So we'll go out on the prime tire to begin with, get a few laps in. See where see what sort of lap times we can achieve. I think we'll let the time run down a little bit to begin with. Let the track robber in, get some lap times from other people in, to see what's where we need to be. So they're already low 27s, which is sort of where we were in qualifying. I'm um, sorry, in practice on the, uh, the quite right now. Most of the on the option tyre. So we've still got a bit of work to do by the looks of things. But we'll give it our all. Hopefully, the track's maybe a bit more rubbered in compared to the end of the practice. <laughs> But we'll see. As we now because exit the pit lane. The, line when out of the, pit, so you'll get the rest are currently faster with the 27.2. Make sure everything's working. Yep, everything good. DRS, a little burst of curves. Make sure we get those tyres nicely warmed up whilst trying to stay out of the way of these people on their hot laps as well. Got a car coming up behind us pretty quickly. A little lock up there as we try and push the braking distance just to see where the limit is but of course cold tyres. There goes Sebastian Vettel, the world champion. Surely one of the favourites for pole. Another car behind us that will let go. The Lotus can be right and not looking like he's able to maybe challenge Vettel in this qualifying session. Or at least in the top 10 shootout anyway. If they both get through that is, who knows what shocks may or may not occur. We've got a car coming up behind us now, a couple of cars so we'll get on with it. And see where we see where we go. Bit deep into turn two, or into turn one through turn two. Trying to stay within the track limits as much as possible despite the fact that this game definitely allows you to exceed them without warning. Just a tenth and a half down on where we need to be at the moment. So a bit of gearbox trouble there, going down an extra gear compared to what we would have wanted. So 
actually race to the line now. It's not going to be in anywhere near enough. Six tenths off where we need to be. It's on a little cool down lap now. As the Ferrari ahead of us decides he doesn't want to do his first lap either. So we've got a car coming up behind us, Massa doesn't seem to know whether he wants to go for a hot lap or not. Car behind us, I don't think he's on a hot lap either. As we go past Massa now. So we still need to find quite a lot of time. So we're not too bad through the first and second sector, it's this final sector where we're losing a chunk of time. I think it's just our lack of downforce on this Caterham. Drew that fast left right. We're using the best part of half a second to Maldonado as we now set off on another hot lap. Bad first six of the corners. Seemed like a better first sector, I think. Tire temperatures are looking really good. It was two tenths, running a fraction wide over the curb. Gone in a bit deep there. That's go oh, that's going to hurt us a lot. We're still up, but not by anywhere near enough. As the lap time has once again moved, it's now Duresta. Ah, oh, that's the lap gone. Not got a great deal of curves, but I suppose we better go for another hot lap straight away. We haven't got time. Well, we have got time, but. Your times in sector one are really good, but you're losing quite a bit of time in sector three. Three tenths up in the first sector on ourselves. Maybe a little bit too conservative through there, trying to make sure we didn't run wide and get a good exit, but okay, quite a slow apex speed. As you can see, we lost a bit of time. Still now down on Duresta, and this isn't, we're not very good for this final sector, so. race to the line not quite enough we improve but still shy by four tenths of a second
five minutes. There are five minutes of the session remaining. So into the pit lane now. Just under five minutes to go. We're not going to be able to make it through on the price by the looks of it, so I think the plan for now will be option tyres for the end of this session and then hopefully try and achieve something respectable in Q2 if we get through on that same set of option tyres, a scrub set. But of course the hard work is still to be done in this Q1, We've not, we're not yet comfortably through. In fact we're not yet through at all. We still need to improve by at least half a second to be in for now let alone what other t times people are going to be able to do to improve the we've got a set of 99% tyres there for some reason that 100% set I do believe are safe for the race, that 41% set where they're racing with practice. these tyres I'm tempted to use to try and get through the 79% tyres, try and use them to get through then we'll have the 99% if we get through and 100% as well, so I think we'll risk it. Take the fuel out. Actually, we'll leave five laps in, leave enough for two runs, which means I'll need to uh, put that down to four. Every little helps. So let's go. Drive out. I'm not sure how we're doing for time. I'm not sure we're actually going to get two runs in. Excuse the pun, but any time will tell. It's going to be very close. We're going to have to go around pretty quickly. Because we need to cross the line with about a minute 26 to go. Well, I don't remember that even pushing it. At least 127. So this has got to be about a 133 to be able to do two flying laps. I don't want to take too much out of these tyres already because they're pretty, they're a scrub set, a very scrub set after having used them in the final part of the practice yesterday. It's quite a risky strategy this on these scrub set. I'm really hoping to find quite a bit of time on that prime run, although it was a pretty solid lap. Not perfect, but pretty solid. I wish I could replicate that left right next time around. That was pretty sweet, although of course in a different fuel mixture, but that always tends to make it a bit easier. into Rich. I think we might just get another lap in in case this one isn't good enough. You're in 19th place, 19th. Quite a wide line through turn one. Only half a tenth up on our own time, it wasn't a great first sector. We've got cars ahead as well. They are going slowly though. A tenth and a half up is not enough at the moment. needs to be some special final sector. 
Here we go. Oh, we've missed up by 700, but we've got another lap. Again, another scruffy turn one and two. This is going to be very difficult. I don't think we're going to do it, you know. And we're a tenth down on our own lap time. Very tense moments in the cockpit, I can tell you. Walls, we are up, but we've run a fraction wide. Massive kick of oversteer through there. That could cost us. Can we do it? Racing to the line. We've done it. Nick Hamilton scraping through by the skin of his teeth. Unbelievable scenes. He's through by just over a tenth of a second. Pulling it out at the very last. Incredible. Rest of the rundown. Usual names near the top. Hamilton fractionally ahead of Vettel. Alonso, Weber, Rosbo, Raikkonen, Massa, Grosjean, Button, Hulkenberg, the top 10. Perez, Sutil, Maldonado, Bottas, Ricardo, and Nicholas Hamilton all making it through to Q2. Going out in the first part of qualifying is Paul de Resta, Esteban Gutierrez, John Ackerverne, Jules Bianchi, Charles Pick, and Max Chilton. So a, a mega performance there from Nick Hamilton to get through. He went out on those scrub set of option tyres. His first run wasn't good enough. His second run, he was down in the first sector by a tenth. Pulled it back in the middle. And despite a relatively scruffy fast left right chicane in the final sector, he pulled out the bag through the rest of the corners to ensure he got through. But of course, this Q2 is going to be very tough for him to get out of. We now go back to Nick Hamilton, our tyres there, down to 60% at the end of that qualifying run. So I think what we're going to have to do, I would like a set for the race, so that's going to be an issue. But, um, yeah, I think I have to take a bit of time out to think what we're going to do here. Nine laps. So can I go seven?
So after a bit of thought, I think the best strategy, we're going to need that set of options for the race, no doubt. So um, how are we doing for primes? Got two fresh sets, well we've got two safe for the race, so I suppose it's not really, I don't know if it's even worth going out uh, this early on the primes. I'm not going to get anywhere near fast enough to be able to get through. So of course we have got that option set safe for the race. So I'll use, I can use the 99% tires now and I don't know if that will be enough if that's not enough then I'll have to use another set which means I won't have any I'll have one set fresh for the race but if I start on them I won't have any to actually change on to so best case scenario I use one set of options in this one set of tires in this session as a uh, x G is now calling me some of you may know x G, but this is important business Nick Hamilton is in the middle of an important qualifying session so Matty G will have to wait and um, so yeah where were we so one set of options in this session if we get three fine I can use another set of options in Q3 and start on them and have a fresh set for the race if I don't get through I'll have to start well two fresh sets for the race one to start and then one to change on to so we're gonna have to use one set of tyres in this session that's going to be that 99%, I don't know how they got 99% out of that, but... What that time did we do last session? I can't remember. Was it 27... Aware, something, wasn't it? I can't remember off the top of my head. So we'll see what that times the AI are going to do. They're low 26, so this is going to be... Although we have got fresh tyres, haven't we, so... So five minutes to go now. We'll head out. There's five minutes remaining in the session. We'll have fuel for... Four... Four laps. We so we'll have a... Now. Park rules now we need five, don't we? We'll have lean, fast. So have an out lap, fast lap, hot... Well, mediocre lap, and then another hot lap right at the end if we have enough time. So that'll have to do. Right, we need to go out. Let's go. Let's do it. We're going. It's going to be, I think it might be a bit out of reach for us to get through, to be honest. But, you know, we've got to give it our all, haven't we? Got a few more cars coming down the pit lane, but it looks like they're going into the pit, pit box. Three minutes of the session to go. We're in rich mixture. Coming out to start our first flying lap of Q2. So we're now across the line to start the lap. We've got traffic coming out the pit lane. That's going to be annoying. He's getting out of the way though. Turning in a fraction too early for that turn three. Of 
clipping the grass on the left as we turn into that turn six. Not a great lap so far. bit of a mistake there. If we run to the line we're not going to be anywhere near I don't think. We're up by six tenths at the moment. Trying fourth gear through turn one this time. Experimenting at this late stage in qualifying. This is our last run. One minute to go. So we're up by a tenth. We haven't clipped the grass under the shadows for that corner again. nice run through there we're up on Hagerberg by two hundredths we're up on ourselves by a quarter of a second but we're not good through this final sector masses of wheel spin on the run to that final corner run to the line and just missing out by about a quarter of a second. A solid effort, but not quite enough for Nick Hamilton. There, and twelfth, he'll start the race in twelfth place. Just a hundredth or so behind Roman Grosjean, but Hulkenberg out of reach on a 26.169. Nick Hamilton a 26.409. So making it through to the top ten is Sebastian Vettel, Fernando Alonso, Lewis Hamilton, Rosberg, Roiken, and Weber. Button Massa Perez and a solid performance as we say from Hulkenberg in the Sauber to break into that top 10 shootout. Out in q Grosjean, Hamilton, Sutil, Maldonado, Ricardo and Bottas. So we'll see what happens in that final part of qualifying weather line up on the grid for tomorrow's race. See Nick Hamilton there passing his objective. He had to finish 16th or above in qualifying. He's done that. He's in 12th place on the grid for tomorrow's race. So getting into the car though, an objective finish 11th or above. So the team and crew want us to have gained at least one place in today's race. Although why they want me to finish 11th and not 10th to try and scrape a point, I don't know. But at least it makes it that slightly bit easier or less harder for for me, the driver. As we line up on the grid, we'll see how did they line up. It was Sebastian Vettel taking pole, as you'd expect. Fernando Alonso lines up on the front row with him. Lewis Hamilton and Rosberg, the Mercedes duo on the second row. Weber, as you would usually find him, just that fraction off his teammate. And down in fifth, Reichen in sixth. Massa Button, and then Perez and Hulkenberg in tenth. Grosjean Hamilton, Nick Hamilton, that is, of course, in twelfth place. Sutil, Maldonado, Ricardo, and Bottas. Dresta, Gutierrez, Vern, and Bianchi, followed by Pick and Chilton on the back row for this Australian Grand Prix, which you can see in the next episode of this career mode. Thank you for watching, hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in the next episode. So until then, it's bye for now. Won't you grab me?